Hey there, good morning, Zoraida. Yes, 6.30 is when everything gets underway. The toast to Harry Carey. It is the 21st annual one being held not only here at Harry Carey's in River North, but apparently all across the world. And there is a bit of a theme going this year. It is the 100th anniversary of Prohibition. So who better to talk to than the guys over at Prohibition Tours this morning? We have Jonathan and John. Good morning to you both. Hey, morning. good morning. morning. Thanks for having us. Thanks so much. So we have this interesting interesting theme going here. Why did you guys decide to become a part of this fun celebration tonight? Oh, well, I mean, it just kind of ties in with what we do. You know, we're a company that based ourselves around a historical tour that visits places that operated uh, as speakeasies during Prohibition and continue to operate today. What better place than, Absolutely. you know, here at Harry Carey's with all the, you know, historical stuff that went on here. Right, and especially because the, the Nitty family was the family that owned and operated this building for some time, and there's a lot of secret hideaways that are yes. in here. Way uh, in a vault yeah. down there and everything. Yeah, secret room that they found uh, back in the, the late 90s, uh, electrician punched through the wall, found this big open space, a vault in there with Frank's uh, personal address book with not only addresses of other famous uh, gangsters, but also politicians as well. Yeah. So that's uh -huh. got that tie in as well. Yeah. Only in Chicago. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. But really yeah, yeah, not yeah, often, yeah. you know. <laughs> so. Even if you're dead. That, yeah. absolutely, especially especially if, you're dead. if you're dead. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. So what does this mean to you guys? I mean, it's the day before the start of baseball season both north side and yeah. south side yeah. there's a lot of excitement for this well he's a yeah. big Sox fan so i'm just going to push oh. him into the back there. No. Oh. No. that is true no we 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 come from both sides he's a Sox fan i'm a cubs fan so this is uh, meaningful to all of us you know i've got a menu here autographed by harry from back in the uh, early 90s that my mom got for me so um, you know we we go back to uh, through a lot of the history with both the cubs and Sox as far as harry goes so Harry yeah. means a lot to to everyone here in the city of Chicago. He's such an icon. Uh, so we bring you know thousands of people uh, through here uh, on these tours, and every one of them knows who Harry Carey is, and uh, they all want to take uh, pictures with the statue as they come in and everything. So he's just he's a Chicago icon. Jonathan and John from the Prohibition Tours, thank you guys so much for joining us, and thanks to these folks behind us here. They got up so early for us. We greatly appreciate them. Zoraida and Alex, we'll send it back to you. That is so awesome. North side. Southside, everybody's a Harry Carey fan. Thank you so much, Lisa. Good morning, Alex and Zoraida. Can you believe it's the 21st annual toast to Harry Carey? And that is tonight at 6.30. So, of course, you have to get the party started early because not only are they incorporating the toast to Harry Carey, it's also the 100th anniversary of Prohibition. And to talk about all of this, we're joined by a White Sox legend, left fielder Ron Kittle. Good morning to you, Ron. Good morning. I thought uh, I was the only one up at this hour. No, apparently we all are. <laughs> well, and a we, lot of people. It's got a good crowd. You know, honored to be here with... Uh, Grant DePorter, Harry Carey's restaurant, 21st anniversary for Harry. Uh, I knew him way back when, and, uh, you know, he's an icon in Chicago and also in sports, but he's an icon with the, the beverages, too, which is cool. Right, most certainly, and that's what the whole toast to Harry Carey is about. Well, I'm sure over the years, he's probably had about four billion uh, toasts with him, and, uh, you know, he was a special guy. I, I know his wife, Dutchie, real well, and, and it's just a great honor to be associated with him, and it's just a fun atmosphere, and today, you can see what's going on. Uh, they got all dressed up for us. Right, and people aren't only doing this just here in Chicago. This is happening all around the world. Well, I hate to see what those outfits are looking like, but, uh, you know, uh, Harry Carey's restaurant, all of them, they, they do a superb job. Great food, great venue, and uh, Grant DePorter does his homework when he's looking into things like this, like he found a vault. Uh, you know, he might even have built that the day before. You know, that's... <laughs> That's Grant for you, but I know something's behind there, and he probably put it there, but uh, we'll find out one day. Right, I have to find out, and what's behind it? <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I, I hope I'm here. Maybe he'll have me cut it up with a saw or something, and uh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Definitely. Well, I mean, it's nice to see. We see all of the Harry Carey faces that are around here. What do you miss most about him? You know, he, he was a different kind of breed. I, I said earlier, uh, when I first met him, I just got called to the big leagues. I was at Miller's Pub eating, and he's sitting there. He goes, hey, young rookie Kittle. He goes, I'm treating you to lunch. Lunch, and the owner of it walked up and goes, Harry, you haven't paid for anything your whole life. Uh, I'm treating a young man. So that was my first meal. But I've been interviewed him over the years. And uh, if he liked you, he liked you. If he didn't, he can bury you in a heartbeat because he had that persona, but he loved baseball and he loved his fans. Ron, thank you so much for, for joining us this morning. And as we're sending it back to the studio, we have to, Soraya, look at that. Yeah. You know this. Oh, yeah. You know that. Look at that. It would probably fit Looks on your great. toe. <laughs> we'll send it back to you guys. Ron is a rare form this morning. Holy 
for us. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Lisa Chavaria at Harry Carey's restaurant. We're talking about the toast to Harry Carey. And uh, I know that we lost our microphone as soon as we came into the speakeasy. A lot of us have been thinking that uh, Al Capone's spirit may have been channeling through here and cut off our microphone. But joining us once again this morning, Grant Deporter, he is the CEO of Harry Carey's Restaurant Group. Good morning. Good morning. I really think it was his spirit stopping us. Uh, absolutely. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Frank Nitty and his family owned the building for 30 years, and there used to be a speakeasy here. So we thought, why not transform? This is actually used to be Harry's office, and we thought he'd like it to be a speakeasy instead. It's amazing. So it's incredible. So not only are we celebrating a toast to Harry Carey, it's also the 100th anniversary of Prohibition. Right. It's 100th anniversary of Prohibition. Harry had to limit his drinking to days that started with a T during trans, uh, Prohibition, Tuesdays, Thursdays, today and tomorrow. He drank a lot. So we don't think Prohibition stopped Harry. Right, that's right. Grant Supporter, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. The toast to Harry Carey, 6.30 tonight. And if you can't be here, just send a cheers out this way. We'll send it back to you, Zoraida and Alex. Toast at home. Thank you so much. Now